Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're looking at the rib ring dance. All right, so here we are, part three of rotation. So hello, all you menopausal ladies and men. Men do go through a form of menopause, so you'll lose your rotation too. So this is another segment on to re really how to create optimal fluid rotation. And today, we're on the reformer. We're looking at trying to keep the pelvis in a nice up, upright square-ish position as we uh, rotate and side bend in our mid-spine. So Casey's gonna put her left heel of the hand onto the foot bar. So she's reaching here with the power point of her hand and I want her to pay particular attention that she's reaching into that thenar eminence between her thumb and her first finger. And notice how her wrist is a little bit in front of the shoulder. That's an important part of the equation. So already she's feeling this shoulder blade move down and around to the front of her rib cage opposite hand on the back of the head. And this hand is already ushering the skin on the scalp up towards the ceiling, the elbow is forward. So she stays nice and wide in the back of the heart. So first she's gonna lengthen her left arm and her feet are on the floor. So she has to, once she comes to a long arm, she has to arrange her feet and legs. And I don't want her to anticipate the side bend. I want her to straighten the arm and be right on her center. So from here, on her next exhale, she's gonna go into her perfect side bend. So she's letting the right sitting bone drip towards the floor. And so we have to have a certain amount of give in this flank area of the right side. Now, so there is a little bit of, you can see it, a little bit of rotation of her right side wanting to go forward, so that's her scoliosis showing up a bit. So from here, I'm just gonna guide her back a little bit. Yes, perfect. And now, keeping this shoulder easy, because we have the perfect side bend, now we're gonna go into a rotation of the rib cage. So what I want her to think about is breathing her left lung and ribs back as her right lung goes forward. And she's doing a beautiful job carrying the head. A lot of people will do too much with their cervical spine. And she's also doing a beautiful job with her shoulder blade here, right? Not hiking the shoulder up, keeping that long collarbone. And then again, you can do this little tapping to encourage breath to come into this. And Casey, it's, you did a really great job bringing yourself a little bit more to the left, but it's also about breathing into these back ribs and feeling like these ribs could go back and up towards your head. Yes, there you go. So those ribs all the way from your transverse processes over lift like little bucket handles. And then this next part is really also very, very difficult spatially. So she's gonna rotate this translatory movement, rotate her back, back to that perfect side bend where she has to keep the thenar eminence and then at the same time, she has to think about bringing the back of her armpit forward and allowing the shoulder blade to go down and around. So essentially, she has a little external rotation in her humerus and relative internal rotation on those lower arm bones. And look at this. She's really nice and symmetrical here in her side bend. That looks beautiful. And then slowly return back to your center, keeping this arm long. So she has to use the right Goldilocks, right amount of reach and power in that arm to bring herself back to her centered, full position. Oh, and look at that left side. It looks beautiful. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or on the forum. See you next time, and never stop learning.